The St. Joseph Knights not their first win on the season last week. The Rooster saw that victory. Would Kevin Roos see another Knights win this time against St. Margaret's of San Juan Capistrano? You know, Mike, Dorothy said there's no place like home, and for St. Joe, well, that couldn't be more true as they look to pick up their second home win in a row tonight, taking on St. Margaret's as we wrap up non-league play. Should be a good one. Let's get to the action. St. Joseph excited to have their four transfer students eligible to play tonight after having a sit out for four weeks due to a CIF rule. St. Joe here on fourth and three going for it. Anthony Moreno blasts up the middle and we've got a first down. Knights keeping the drive alive. Couple plays later, it's Caden Cuccia. Gonna hook up here on the little bubble screen pass with Travis Royal. He goes from one sideline over to the other. They'll never be Royals. Travis getting into the end zone, 24 yards out. Knights up 7-0 early on. Second quarter now still 7-0. Jack Ruff's pass is coming back the other way as Takai Aziz Miller snatches it out of the air. St. Joe would turn the ball over themselves on the next drive, however. Under eight minutes to go now. It's Cuccia handing it off here to Darren Mencia. And uh, you're clear for takeoff. As uh, St. Joe Airlines is in business here. 50-yard strike down the field to Colin Fossey. What a great catch there. And then a couple plays later, Malachi Langley going to finish off the drive nicely with a little slice and dice move into the end zone. It's 14-0 Knights. They would lead it 14-7 at the half. Head over now to the third quarter. Late in the third quarter, Jack Ruff is going to find Tyler Matthews right on the goal line. And the game is tied at 14 as the tension builds. Fourth quarter now still tied at 14. Cuccia handing it off here to Carter Vargas. He blasts up the middle. 41-yard run to the house, 60% of the time. That play works every time. It's 20-14 to 14, St. Joe. And hey, give it up for Kayla Lopez. She's going to knock in the extra point right here to make it 21-14. to 14. St. Joe would hold on in a close one to win it. 28-27 to 27, the final. Knights will battle Paso Robles next week in Santa Maria. Kevin Roos for Friday Football Focus. Mike, back to you. All right, Rooster, we're in Carpinteria now. Warriors play an undefeated mission prep team out of San Luis Obispo. Opening drive of the game is a good one for the visiting Royals. Colby White to Grant Callahan. Mission prep inside the 10. White to Dante Andrini. Touchdown Royals less than three minutes into the game. After a good carp punt by Hunter Garcia, mission prep started on their own 16. Carp trying to keep up with the Kardashian. George Kardashian, 21-yard run. And Colby White over the middle to Tyler Garrett. Good chunk of yards with the Warriors 37. Colby White's a good-looking quarterback. Airs it out to fellow junior Tyler Garrett. He's tall and talented. 14-0 mission prep. Carp does not get a clean exchange. Ball is on the ground. There's that Kardashian again. They're everywhere. George Kardashian pounces on it. Mission Prep turns that turnover into another touchdown. Andrew Abate, the easy score, 21-0. After a safety, it was 23-0. Mission Prep driving, but turned away this time. Warriors interception by Matthew Munoz, but this game dominated by Mission Prep. They win 51 to nothing. So 4-0 Mission Prep is at Atascadero next Friday. St. Bonaventure wins big at Crespi, 65-13 to move to 5-0. Santa Maria losing at Fillmore, 56-21. Up next, a thriller, Rio Mesa versus Camarillo rivalry highlights, and then action from Ojai as Nordoff hopes to make North Torrance go south with a loss.